welcome to church. We're so happy you're here. My name is Miss Sophie, and I'm here with the amazing Miss Jam. Hi, Miss Jam. Hi, Miss Sophie. I'm so happy to be with you on the first Sunday of the month. Wow, it's amazing. Jam, so it's the first Sunday of a new month. Does that mean that we have a new Bible hero? Yes, we do. So last month we learned about Jesus, but this month we are learning about Ruth. Let's learn her name together. On the count of three, we're gonna say Ruth together. One, two, three. Ruth. Ruth. Oh, wow. I'm so excited to learn about Ruth. Ruth is a really, really special hero. She is an amazing friend because she uses her humble heart and she always thinks of others before herself. So we are so excited to get to talk about Ruth this month. I love that, Miss Sophie. Can all of my heroes put up their humble hearts? And humble hearts, this Boot Kid values, we will think about others before ourselves. I love that we are learning about our humble heart and about Ruth. That's amazing, Miss Jam. Do you think that they're ready to learn about Ruth? Um, I don't know. Are all of my heroes standing up right now, listening, using their listening ears? You know what, Miss Sophie? I think they're ready. I think they're ready too, Miss Jam. So our story, heroes, begins with a family. There was a mom and a dad, and they had two sons, and they lived in a place called Bethlehem. But one day, there was no more food for them to eat in Bethlehem. So they traveled to a new place called Moab, and that's where they were going to make their new home. Wow, so once they were in Moab, the two sons, they got married to two girls, one named Orpah and another named Ruth, our Bible hero of the month. Wow, yes, and Ruth and the mom, her name's Naomi, and they actually became really, really great friends. But then something really sad happened, Miss Jam. Oh no, Miss Sophie. So Naomi's husband and her two sons, they both died, leaving Naomi with her two daughter-in-laws, Orpah and Ruth. Yeah, and then Naomi decided that she wasn't going to live in Moab anymore. She wanted to go back to Bethlehem. So she told her two daughter-in-laws they could go back to their families and go back home because she was going to go on this journey all by herself. But then... Ruth decided something really special, Miss Jam. What did she decide? Right. Orpah was like, bye, and she <laughs> peaced out. But Ruth, Ruth, she stayed. She did, Miss Jam, because Ruth thought about Naomi before herself. She did not want to leave Naomi sad and alone, so she went on the journey with her back to Moab. And some really special stuff is going to happen to Ruth and Naomi on their journey and when they get to their new home of Bethlehem. Wow, so you mean to tell me, Naomi, her husband and her two sons, they left Bethlehem, went to Moab, her two sons got married, then her husband and her two sons, they died, leaving her with her two daughters-in-laws, and then one of the daughters-in-laws left, Orpah, but then Ruth decided to stay with Naomi, and now they are back on their way to Bethlehem. That's right, Miss Jam. I want to know what happens next. But if you want to know what happens next, we have to wait until next Sunday. Oh, we're going to keep okay. talking about Ruth all month long, and we're going to learn more about her special friendship with Naomi and what God is going to do in their lives. I can't wait, Miss Jam. Me too. I'm excited. Let's pray. All of my heroes, wherever you are, close your eyes and bow your head. Lord, we thank you for this day. We thank you that we can always use our humble hearts and think of others before ourselves. We love you. In Jesus' name, all of my heroes say, Amen. Amen. We love you. We love you, heroes.